now that I have the filament bank assembled them ready. Uh, I've mounted it here. These are M3 screws. Uh, should be able to use spares from the Prusa kit if you have them still laying around. You definitely need it hanging from the back of something. You could easily wall mount this as well. Um, but at least with the walls this thin, it doesn't have enough structure to hold itself up. So I've got a stack of the wheel assemblies. I'm going to put those in now and show you how that's done and hopefully walk through uh, feeding the filament in. So each of the wheel mount assemblies has to be angled in. You want to, there's a, there's a thing poking out here and a corresponding notch on the inside here. So you want to lean it in, slide it down until it's perfectly flat, and then take one of the thumb screws that we've printed. Now you'll notice here, I'm using a yellow wheel, a yellow thumb screw. That makes it easy for me to identify which, at a, at a quick glance, which one I want to change if I'm changing one. Again, certainly not a big deal if you don't do that. If they're all monochrome, you're probably going to be able to figure it out easily enough. Um, but each of these fits in pretty snugly here. Get them all in. And one thing I will say about this is if you find yourself having trouble getting them all in, um, one thing to check is that your thumb screw, especially this axle screw, is in tight enough. If there's anything sticking up here, they will not all fit in. And so the last one's the snuggest, obviously. Everything's in place. Should be able to get this in. Fighting me a little, but there we go. Once it's, I just had to push it over a little to the left, and now you can see they're all in place. You can take the festos that are coming, PTFE tubes that are coming from the back of your printer, and put them in. This probably isn't ideal. I'm probably going to cut these a little tighter. These were for my old filament buffer, which was. A little lower. You really want as straight a path of travel as you can. So I don't love that this is this arc here, but we'll probably give it a try for a while and see how it's working out. Make sure each of those are snug. And then here I've got coming down from some of my uh, Rubbermaid, some, some PTFE tubes coming from some Rubbermaid containers that hold spools. So you'll notice this one has some filament coming out of that. We'll walk through getting that in in a moment, but I'll go ahead and place the other two. Again, I'm just pushing in the quick relief. These have already been nicely cut. You can identify how to do that. I'm going to leave these two unaddressed for now. And I definitely recommend putting the colors that you use a lot in places that are easy to find. It looks like I'm missing my white thumb peg here. I'm, I'm going to use some different colors now just to, to kind of show how this process works. But um, when you need to change filament now, uh, let's go ahead and push this in actually. Go ahead and put that in place. Okay, so here I've got the entire filament bank in place. I've got all my thumb screws in and I want to demonstrate quickly how to go about changing filament. Um, so that's the whole point of this design is to make that as easy as possible. All you need to do is remove a thumb screw and again, tilt this towards the back and just pull the whole thing out. So now we've got easy access into the filament wheel, no sort of feeding it through the hard way. So um, I can just push some filament through from above which I've already been setting up here. Just maybe easier if I pull this out and get some filament going through, push this through the center and then push the PTSE tube back into the quick release. And now I've got this coming out so I can easily just feed it around, feed it through the guide pull enough that I can get a straight line going through the guide above, push that, and we can 
hopefully get it straight up into, now I can see it pushing through the Festo into the printer and I can continue to adjust it, feeding it through manually until I see it coming through. Um, and then pull it until it's reasonably tight. And then I can just drop this back into place. So instead of having to fiddle with paddles and, and hope that everything lines up perfectly, I can easily see everything I'm doing, get into what I need to get into and put this all back in place. And you can see once the thumb screws are in place, this is locked. And now I'm ready to print. So that's how you go about using this filament bank system.